Uh, hi, everyone. Um, that's me, Lucas. Um, I do uh, art and digital art, multimedia graphics things. Um, here's a short, sweet little summary of me uh, from my resume. Uh, uh, artist foodie, she created, pursuing a career in marketing. Yes, marketing. Uh, interested in graphic design, web design, multi-platform content optimization, statistical analysis, creative writing, and how all of these things come together. Uh, explain to the amazing sciences of sociology and psychology to market products and or services to consumers. Um, that's that's the real brief. Uh, so now I'd like to get into my some of my work. Uh, so first off, we have freelance work, which I did, I'm still doing currently, but not nearly as much as I did a few years ago. Um, so some of this is recent, some of this is not so recent. Uh, mainly it would be thumbnails for YouTube videos, channel art, banners, user pictures, etc. I started off just making them for free um, and ended up actually selling them after a little while and I'm still doing that. Um, so it's just different, different little things for people to use on the internet. They pay and they'd say, I want it to look like this or I want it to look like that. They give me a, a reference image or something. Um, this one was supposed to be VHS styled and um, so I tried to do a little VHS distortion right there. Oh, you can't see it on the projector, but um, same thing there, uh, film burn effects and etc. Um, I've kind of changed the style recently. I was commissioned to make this logo for a uh, channel that um, came to me. Hey. Uh, <laughs> so the style the style's been gradually changing, as you can see. Um, so now I want to get into my 3D work, which is more of what I'm doing currently. Uh, it's a lot of experimenting. Uh, mainly with three-dimensional lighting and rendering. It's not so much modeling, uh, as you'll see, although I have done some modeling work, but it's mainly for lighting and rendering. I really enjoy that. Um, I also do like physics simulations, and I, I also do those sometimes. Uh, so this was probably the first 3D rendering I ever did, um, and I did make the model as well. Um, I really enjoyed making that model, actually. Um, so yeah, first 3D rendering I did, this is done, the rendering is done in Cinema 4D Studio R17, and the modeling was done in the student version of Maya 2017, I wanna say, because I don't have the latest version. So it's pretty simple. Um, gradually, I've gotten to experimenting with more um, I did some physics simulations with this one, some uh, bubble thing. I was, I was playing around with bubbles and I uh, ended up combining it with a sort of mesh type material. Um, I did some stuff with coral generation where I tried to make this little, you know, it kind of looks like coral and to uh, generate it in a semi-realistic way so that it is, uh, patterned, it's what, what you would call it is a, is a turbulent offset, so it's essentially like a, a semi-random displacement map that you can change to suit different kinds of things, so you say I want this to be displaced like coral, etc., and that's one of the main ways. I did this, it was fun, I made a little, a little eye, right, um, just to, mainly it was to experiment with um, yeah, changing the materials on different things. I did this, reflection mapping and uh, refraction. Uh, this was just mainly a material test for um, more turbulent materials. And then these are the last things I'd like to show uh, were concept art for the Cave Museum. Um, so that the, uh, what would you call the iris, excuse me, is um, the Cave logo. And the reason why I decided to make it into an eye was because I actually checked their website and I went to the design firm that made the Cade logo and it's supposed to look like an eye. I don't think most people know that because they don't really do a good job of telling you about it. Um, so I made a little 
concept art there, and then I did another thing, uh, which this one was more just testing out render techniques. Um, so both two pieces of concept art, uh, I took it to the Cade Museum, um, an intern on their marketing team now, so that's fun. Um, we good? Or a little more time? All right. <laughs> um, so that, that's about it for the uh, presentation, but I also did have um, this one little thing. I used to also make these animations for people who paid. So, you know, um, fairly simple, just kind of um, text, logo, whatever other elements they wanted that suit what they're doing. Um, and then, still have about 30 seconds. Uh, lastly, what I spent my summer working on was uh, learning to code in Python, um, which was a real trip, <laughs> because it's the f fundamental language for graphics coding um, and scripting, mainly Cinema 4D, Maya, Blender. It's all useful and all of those for graphics scripting. Uh, so to learn Python, I ended up making a program and compiling it, and it's a, it's just a really complex encryption method. It's not too different from the ones that are out there now, except for the fact that it just has more variables. So essentially you would put in um, some text here, and it's too, too much time to explain what all these little boxes mean. Essentially they're different variables to put into the encryption algorithm. And so I'm just going to fill most of them with ones. And, oh, excuse me. Then you get an encrypted string that comes back out. If you put it in with the correct parameters, you can re-encrypt it. It's pretty simple. Oh, OK. It, it, it's pretty simple. Um, it just uses key files and et cetera. It's slightly more secure, but not really. What it mainly provided me with was a functional learning of Python, so the actual scripting and the functions, everything you need to code in Python, I learned through spending the entire summer making this. Um, so now that I have that knowledge from working on this, I can apply it to the graduate school. Thank you.